Hi everyone, welcome back again to this channel. First of all, I would like to say thank you all. This channel hit 5,000 subscribers today. I appreciate all of your support. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get into today's lesson. Today we will learn a different simulation software to create Cisco Router Lab. This simulation software is Cisco IOU which is Cisco iOS on Unix. Cisco IOU is fully working version of iOS. It is like other simulation software such as GNS3 or EVNG, but IOU Wave is less resource intensive. So you can create labs with multiple Cisco routers and switches. Okay, to do this, we need two applications. One is VMware Workstation Player or VMware Workstation Pro. Another is IOU OBF file, which I have in my PC. So you need this OBF file. Now we will double click on it. It will import this virtual machine. Okay. So we we'll just click import. This is very easy to set up. It's now importing this IOU in this VMR Workstation. I'm using VMR Workstation Pro 15.5. Okay, this one. So now we will power on this virtual machine. You can see the IP address 192.168.182 and dot .140. We need this IP address to access this simulator from web. And this is the default login is uh, root and password is Cisco. You can also check uh, your IP address from here if fake 191.168.182.140 okay we'll go to the browser we'll hit the IP address 191.168.182.140 this is the wave interface of IOU we'll create a folder so click on this add folder uh, we'll give a name like a routing click add now click this icon to add new lab. We gave a name to do underscore in the description. Now in NetMap, here we configure our lab router. We have to follow a format to build a router lab with port mapping. Okay, just remember this. The first number is router number. This is the one router and this is the second router. And after the column, zero by zero, it's a port number. So we, we are actually take two routers, one and two. Just click add. Now here in the devices, we will write our router name. One is router one and second is router two. And iOS, we will select 15.0 L3 L3 15.0 RAM size is 256 and VRAM 128 this is actually the line curve so if we select one it has four ports it means 0 by 0 0 by 1 0 by 2 and 0 by 3 so one line card has four ports you only take ethernet port just click save and click here you can see our router is ready with port now you can click the save positions now we'll go to the devices click this icon to start all devices if you click on it it will open the shell prompt you can access to the router Okay, here we are. You can access to our router. And type any command we like. We can access to this router with other terminal. Like, take the mouse over to your router. You can see the port number 2001 and router 2, port number 2002. We'll go to our other terminal. I'm using CQCRT. We'll go to the file and quick connect. 
IP address is 192.168. This port number you have to change 2001 for router 1. Protocol is Telnet. Click connect. There are plenty of terminal software you can find on the internet. Use any of them. So our lab is ready. We can add more routers here if we want. We just have to remember the format that we used in NetPad. That's pretty much of it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.